trick or treat. Hold on. <sighs> Hold on, Kevin. Let's not lose our heads. Let's do it again. Where's our candy? Our candy. Hello everyone, my name is Emily. Welcome to our first DP News of the school year. Hey everybody, I'm Rennie. We have a lot of stories for you today. Hey, have you noticed the new staff members here on campus? I heard there were a few new teachers and we have a new VP. Here are our DP News reporters with the scoop. My name is Joshua Medina and I'm going to be interviewing new teachers at De Portola. My name is Joshua Medina and I'm interviewing. I'm Miss Hart. Where did you work before? Um, I used to work at Millennial Tech Middle School where I taught 7th and 8th grade. How do you like De Portola? I love De Portola. It's amazing here. I enjoy the students, the staff, everything about it. What subject are you currently teaching? Uh, I'm teaching, right now I'm teaching 6th grade English and 7th grade English. How do you like your students? My students are really funny and interesting. Um, they like cats, so I like them for that. And they seem really hardworking. Um, and overall, I just really enjoy them. It's, I'm having a good time in the classroom, which is awesome. And I'm going to be interviewing. Mr. Bridges. Where did you work before? Uh, I came here from Mann Middle School, which is down in City Heights. I worked there for about six years. Um, how do you like De Portola so far? You know what, I'm thrilled to be here. I like being here. The, the energy and the students are all very nice. The staff is great and the environment's wonderful as well. What subject are you currently teaching? I teach eighth grade science. So I teach two advanced science and three regular general ed science. How do you like your students um, so far? You know, the students here generally are awesome. You guys are really bright. A lot of energy, um, a lot of prior knowledge. You guys have really good foundational skills. And you guys all get along really well, so very active. Um, I like the participation in class and how you guys communicate with each other, so it's, it's refreshing compared to my last site. And I'm interviewing Mr. Morrison. Where did you work before? I was at Kearney High School. How do you like De Portola? I like it a lot. De Portola is a really great school. I'm happy to be here. What subject are you currently teaching? I'm teaching sixth grade science. How do you like your students? Oh, they're great. I, I'm really impressed with how eager they are to learn. Whenever I ask a question or need a volunteer, every one of those hands in the classroom goes up, and I really like to see that. I'm interviewing Kevin Crawford. Where did you work before? Worked at Moreau Clark Middle School in City Heights. How do you like De Portola? I love De Portola. What subject are you currently teaching? I'm teaching math sixth grade. How do you like your students? Students are awesome. My name's Jacob, and I'm with Miss Morales, Vice Principal. So, where, where did you work before? So, I started in the district in 1988. I worked at Marvin Elementary, then Vista Grande Elementary, and two years at the central office. Um, so, how do you like the students so far? I think the students here are awesome. They're very polite, well-mannered, and I'm very lucky to work here. And how do you like the school so far? I think it's a beautiful school, and I'm really happy here. Thank you. I can't believe that two years have gone by since I was a sixth grader. And last year, I was in sixth grade. I loved it. It was really fun. Let's find out more about our newest members of the De Portola family. Hi, my name's Jacob, and I'm with... Tristian. So, how do you like De Portola so far? Really good. Uh, who, who's your favorite teacher? Ms. Valentino. Uh, is, mis is middle school more stressful than uh, elementary school? No. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Neve and I'm with... Diera. Okay, so how do you like your new teachers? They're good. Okay. How is middle school different from elementary? Mm, more homework. Okay, thank you. Ryan. So how do you like De, De Portola so far? Uh, it's all right. Uh, who's your favorite teacher? Miss Hart. Uh, is middle school more stressful than elementary? Yeah. Okay, thank you. With Omarion. Okay, so do you like your new teachers at De Portola? Yes. 
How is middle school different from the elementary? Because in uh, elementary, you don't walk class to class. In middle school, you have to walk class to class. Okay, thank you. Sean. How do you like Dave Portola so far? Good. Who is your favorite teacher? Uh, Ms. Hart. Is middle school more stressful than elementary school? No. Okay, thank you. Aeneas. Okay, do you like your new teachers? Um, just Ms. Pearson so far. How is middle school different from elementary? There's more freedom. Okay, thank you. And how fun was the fundraiser? Are you talking about the color one? That was crazy. Kids running around with powdered paint and endless energy. Let's check it out. The rhythm like a body is rehearsed. Have me dancing all night. Then the melody. I heard it once, that was it for me. Like one, two, three. Hi, Miss Weiner, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you, Mikhail? Um, I just wanted to ask you a few questions about the color run. Is that okay? I'm happy to talk about the color run. Um, can you tell me what it was all about? It was a fundraiser for our school. For the past 29 years, we've been doing a magazine drive. And this year we decided to try something new and it was suggested to us to do a color run. Oh, and I'm sure it was a lot of fun with all the color explosions. And um, how much money did you guys raise? We raised $20,000 for our school. Isn't that amazing? That's a lot of money. A lot of color. And we just want to know who was that lucky person who won the hoverboard? His name was Andrew Heron. And his name was picked by a computer that was raffled off, and he won the hoverboard. Lucky soul. I'm a cow, and I'm here with? Andrew. And you're the lucky one who won the hoverboard, right? Yeah. How you liking it? Hoverboard? Where is he? Here. There! He's on a hoverboard! It's awesome. Have you seen the signs about the nut, about nut allergies? I love peanuts and peanut butter, but some kids at school are very allergic. That's nuts. Well, it's true. Here's a skit and interview with our nurse intern from Point Loma College to tell us more. Man, this is a wonderful day. Good thing nothing bad is happening. Oh, oh no, no, Mr. Peanut! Hi, my name is Nurse Pam, and I'm here to talk to you about the serious consequences of peanut allergies.
So although we can laugh at it in a funny skit, it's still very serious because some kids can have a very serious allergic reaction, such as hives, and their throat can close and swell. And at that point, they would need an EpiPen, which you can get here in the nurse's office. So to prevent all of that, we need to, number one, make sure that we're eating all things that have peanuts and peanut butter in it outside of the classrooms. And number two, if we do eat it, we need to make sure that we're washing our hands before we enter back into the classroom to help protect our fellow students who have peanut allergies. All right, I hope everyone has a great day. Bye, Panthers. I'd like to take a minute to say goodbye to a friend of mine whose last day at Deportola is today. Her name is Jason, and she's been making people smile at DP for the last two years. Here are a few other people who wanted to say goodbye. Jason is part of our special club circle of friends. She's been with us for three years now, and we're finally saying goodbye. You have probably, you've probably seen her walking the halls with her walker, or you're in a circle of friends and have seen her there. How do you feel about Jason moving? I'm going to miss her so much. She is amazing, awesome, so positive. How long have you known Jason? I've known her since sixth grade, so this is my third year with having Jason in my class, and like I said, she's a total gem. Lastly, do you think Jason will come back to visit? I hope so. She's moving to Texas, so maybe she'll visit, but we'll see. So how do you feel about Jason moving? I'm a little bummed. She's an awesome uh, presence here on campus. She really is. <laughs> How long have you known Jason? Uh, for a few years now. Um, yeah, I've had the pleasure of knowing her for a few years and getting to know her pretty well. Do you think Jason will come back to visit? Mm, I'm going to say it's probably unlikely, but I think Jason has left her mark here on campus. I think a lot of students know who she is. I think a lot of uh, adults have had the pleasure to be around her are happy that they got a chance and her spirit like when she was in the hospital fighting or if you think about her things that she deals with that we don't and she's still got that like awesome smile and that awesome uh, drive and that awesome personality I think a lot of us have a lot to learn about disabilities and about abilities and Jason is like showing us like where it's at that was a great answer so I'm with Miss Allen for, from PE, and I'm going to ask her questions. So how do you feel about Jason moving? I'm really sad. I like having Jason in my class, so I'm sad that she's moving. How long have you known Jason? This is three years I've had Jason. And lastly, do you think Jason will come back to visit? She better. <laughs> with some cookies. <laughs> with some cookies. I'm so sad that she's leaving. I love her. She brings such a happy spirit to our school, and every day she comes to school with such a good attitude and just makes school so much nicer. I agree. How long have you known Jason? Um, since she's been here, so it's been two years, and uh, I've worked with her class before, and I've worked with her, and every day I see her going to lunch. Do you think Jason will come back to visit? I hope she'll come back to visit. That would be really nice, but I wish her the best of luck in her new school and her new um, neighborhood. How do you feel about Jason moving? Well, it breaks my heart. It's always sad when our kids move on. If they're going somewhere, they'll do well, but I will miss their friendly faces. And Jason, she lives right here in our hearts. What's your name? Kusha. What's your name? <laughs> what do you think about Jason as a friend? The best friend. What are some cool things about Jason? What do you think about Jason as a friend? I like Jason. What are some cool things about Jason? She helped me in with my shoe. Thank you. What is your favorite memory of De Portola? My friends and my teachers. Hey, De Portola. Guess what? What? Halloween is tomorrow. It's on a Saturday, so we can sleep in after stuffing our faces with candy. That sounds delicious. Yum. Here's the intel on Halloween. Okay, uh, my name is Garrett. What's your name? Alex. Cheyenne. And what are you going to be for Halloween? I'm going to have a zipper on my face. I'm going to be a police officer. Are you excited? Yeah. Yes. Who, who are, will you be trick-or-treating with? My family. My dad. Okay, thank you. What are you going to be for Halloween? Nothing. Who are you going to go trick-or-treating with? No one. Are you excited for Halloween? No. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Catalina and I'm here with Addy. I'm Evan. Um, what are you guys going to be for Halloween? A Taurus. We're going to be Jack Skellington. Um, who are you guys trick-or-treating with? I'm not trick-or-treating this year. I'm going to go with a few of my neighbors. Cool. And are you guys excited? Yeah. I'm excited for a lot of candy, yeah. Me too. Let's get this done. What are you going to be for Halloween? Oh, I don't know. My friend and I want to do something together. But we don't know. Are you excited? Yep. Who are you going to be trick-or-treating with? I don't know. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name's Ethan, and I'm here with Stacy, Brayden. So, how's the party going so far for you guys? Hot. Good. Okay, then. Um, do you like the music? Yeah. Yeah. What's your favorite dance move? The shimmy. Shimmy. Can you show us? <laughs> Beautiful. Hello again, I'm here with Dominic and Joseph. Now, how's your first dance going so far? It's been going pretty well. There, There's good music and there are fun games in there. Yeah, it's also going really well. I like the music and the DJ that they play. And what's your favorite dance move? The whip. Also the whip. Can you show it to us? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Now, what's your name? Ben. Okay, how's your very first dance going? Good, not bad. It's pretty fun. Lots of people. How's the music? It's pretty good. They're doing the whip right now. Is it loud? <laughs> a little bit. What's your favorite dance move? I don't know. Do you want me to do it? Or Yes, please. Show everybody. Um, this kid. This can be the whip. So. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Garrett. What's your guys' name? My name is Nate. And my name's Maya. And is the setup hard for the dance? Um, it's a bit hard. The streamers are hard to get to because it's really tall and most of us are short. No offense. <laughs> what about you, Nate? Well, the balloon arches were really fun and they were hard but really fun. Do you think it's going to be a blast? Yes, I do. If the balloons pop. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Catalina and I'm here with Kate, Lila. So, was the setup for the dance fun? Yeah, we got to put up all the decorations. Yeah, it was really fun. Cool. And um, who gets to pick the music? Uh, the DJ. And Miss Weiner picked the DJ, so. Okay. What's your guys' favorite dance move?
Andy. That wraps up our first DP news. Don't worry, we're not done yet. <laughs>